Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative Team, and today I'm excited to share with you some fun techniques using sponge daubers. You can find sponge daubers in our annual catalog on page 128. You can see them here. You get five sponge daubers for $5. Super great deal. I think it's one of the best deals in the catalog. But I wanted to show you, if you're new to stamping, or even if you are an old stamper, not old in age, but we'll say seasoned stamper, <laughs> if you've been doing it a long time, you can either be new or seasoned, and this is a great technique for you. So, sponge daubers look like this. This one you can see I've used red on, but they fit on your finger just like this, and then you can use them to, here, I'll just kind of give you a little idea. You can use them to go around the edges of things like this. That's what a lot of the time they're used for. You could also use them to sponge on top of something and make kind of a bokeh design. They're really fun. But I want to show you a different idea of using the sponge daubers almost like a stamp and making polka dots on your card. So we're going to start, I'm going to make a rainbow. I always like to first find a saying set that I really like to use. I have been loving this Covered in Sunshine. This is one that is in our mini catalog currently. And I love the big and fun sayings in here. Um, I love the shapes of them. I love the fonts in them. And this one, you can see, is kind of like in a rainbow shape. So I was inspired by that to make a rainbow card with this saying on it. So I have all the rainbow colors here and I'm just gonna show you how to make fun polka dots on our card. So we're just gonna take our sponge dauber and we're going to just set it on the page and go around kind of in a circle, okay? And I'm just gonna do that in red along the top. So simple. And you just kind of twist it so that you get that not perfect edge around. It kind of has a, I wanna say fluffy, but I don't know if that's the right word for it. Just uneven edge, but it looks kind of fun. So then we'll go to the next color in our rainbow. I'm using Mango Melody. It's just a very slight orange. So you can see the circle when you twist it, it gives just a good blurred edge there. Okay, and then we're just gonna make our way down our card. Use yellow or Daffodil Delight. Now these two colors, Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight, when you first use them, they look very similar. But as it dries, they will dry a little more differently and you can see a little bit more of that change. I think I did a little too much of the red, so I'm not gonna have a ton of room for everything down here, but you'll get the idea. So next I'm gonna go to my green, I'm using Granny Apple Green. That stamp pad could have used with a little more ink on it, but you get the idea there, just like that. And then move on to blue. I'm using Bermuda Bay. Maybe a little darker for that one too. There we go. And then we'll bring our gorgeous grape in. Just like that, and you can see how simple that is to make a rainbow design down that paper. So let me show you the finished card that I have. I just can't tell you what it is, a, what a gift it is to call you my friend. And you can see that rainbow design going all the way down. So cute, so simple, and so fun. Let me show you one other idea, one other technique using these sponge daubers. So you can also make little flowers. I'm gonna start with my Daffodil Delight because our flowers have a yellow center, just like that. 
And then I'm going to use Poppy Parade, my red, and I'm just going to do five little circles overlapping. And you have a cute little flower. Okay, let's do another one. We're going to do Bermuda Bay. I kind of want that to be just a little darker there. And just do that same thing all the way around. Okay, and one more. We have to have a gorgeous grape flower too. And just same technique there. Just twist those little sponge daubers and you have cute little flowers. So the cool thing is there's also this saying in this stamp set covered in sunshine that says, may the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. So I thought those flowers were super cute with that saying. So fun. And one more card I just have to show you. There's also this cute little sun in that stamp set. And I just use the sponge daubers. I just stamped that sun and just use the sponge daubers in the center just to give it a little extra. And then may the dreams you hold dearest come true and the kindness share that you share come back to you. So cute, so fun, so simple. The sponge daubers are a great addition to your craft supplies. So if you haven't found them in the catalog yet, make sure to go check them out. We'll post a link in the video description. And if you have any questions, always make sure to email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.